Hi, and welcome to another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today we're going to be talking a little bit about broadheads. I got this fixed broadhead, I have this thorn broadhead that we're going to talk about, and we're also going to be talking about the rage broadheads, and which one I prefer today, and why, I'll tell you why, I use a certain broadhead. So with that said, let's get started with today's show. Okay, welcome back to another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter. Like I said, we're going to be talking about today the thorn broadhead, the fixed broadhead, and the rage broadhead. Okay, so in my, in my preference, again, I'm not an expert on broadheads. This is just my personal opinion. You know, I've done a lot of research on uh, um, broadheads, and this is what I've come up with for me and what works for me on my broadheads. So, uh, with that said, let's get let's get started here with the these fixed broadheads. Now, I don't remember uh, the brand name of these broadheads. Let's see if you can up here. Um, I, before I even thought about doing videos, I bought a lot of stuff. And I threw a lot of stuff away on what they were. And, yeah. Um... It's coming back to haunt me now. Um, so, but again, if you like these videos, hit that subscribe button right down there below. Yeah, I'll let you put it right there. Yeah, right down there below. Uh, give me that thumbs up. Ring that bell so you know when I got new ones coming out. Um, so, let's get started with these. So, uh, I don't know how well you can see my um, uh, scale down here. Oh, let me take care of some business here real quick for... All right. All right, there you go. All right. Yeah, I had to take care of some business for my engineer here on uh, her uh, her tablet so she can watch her YouTube pages. So, let me turn that scale back on. So, I just got to weigh a couple of these here. Um, so, these are 100 grain tip broadheads. It comes out at 104, 1014. Um, 102, uh, let's do one more, okay, 102, two. so you see they're kind of close, and again, between all six of them there, uh, when I bought them, they were, they were about a two grain spread, so like I said, I'm not going to sit there and weigh every one of them for you, um, but what is, here's one of my concerns with broadheads, so let's go ahead and put this one on here. And this is one thing when you're doing research on arrow on broadheads, nobody talks about, and that's the tip. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here with the tip. So here's my fletching. This is where my rail is going to go. So when you look at it, okay, you can see that my fletching is not lined up very well. So I have to 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 fix that. I'm going to have to turn my arrow something like this okay to make it fly in my opinion straight so if you have it like this okay you can see you got one going down this way here one here and one up it looks like to me that the front is going to be fighting the back to stay straight okay so in order to get it to do that I got to loosen them up as you can see to me, that would be the perfect flight. Okay, so you talk, you hear people when you when they're talking about their their broadheads, whether it be a fixed broadhead, a um, or a uh, mechanical broadhead. I gotta remember my picture right there. Um, you want that true flight. So if you want that true flight, in my opinion, again. It has to loosen that up. Is that going to cause a problem? Maybe that's something we'll talk about and we'll go out and shoot later on. Um, but again, I don't know when I'm going to be able to go out and shoot much right now. Uh, our winter has kicked in. It's only like 21 degrees outside, uh, which is fine for me. But uh, the kids are a whole different ball game taking them outside. Uh, so that... Uh, uh, 
you know, the wife, doghouse. Yeah, you get the picture. So uh, that, you know, again, that's my opinion on these fixed broadheads. Okay. So let's move on to the thorn. I'm correction the um, rage broadheads. Again, I don't remember um, what kind of rage these these are, but they come in a package of three, and they come with a practice tip. Now, here's my concern with the rage broadheads. Okay, so here's the practice tip going on the scale, and it comes in at 98.6. Okay. All right, now let's put the the other rage. I think it was the hypodermics, but I'm not. Again, I'm not 100% positive. So let's put that one on there. So it's 107. So we got almost a close to a 10 grain spread between the the actual tip and the field tip. 10 grains. Um, that's. That's quite a bit. Uh, so, would I use these practice tips? No, not at all. They're worthless to me. So I'd have to waste. I mean, I spent thirty-five bucks on a package, so sixty, seventy bucks for these rage broadheads. So I'd have to waste one or two of these to sight in. So let's look at the weights here. So this one I was. Uh, 1072. Uh, let's get another one here. Okay, 108. Let's do one more. Okay, 107. Okay, so um, we would have to match the closest we could between the, we have to find <coughs> between the arrow and the broadhead get your weight as close as possible okay so um, and then you got to make sure these little indentations they got here are going where they're supposed to go let me see if you can, I don't know if you can see those what that well on there or not so okay so let's start with putting this tip on the arrow Okay, so here's your here's your flexion that's going to be in the in the uh, the groove. Now, look at that. You see that? That's straight up and down. You don't want that. You want this to be flat down here with your fletching down here. Okay, but again, it's going to depend on your crossbow. If you have the flat knocks, uh, okay, you, you're still going to have to make arrangements. For these to be flat, okay. Either way, they need to be flat because you don't want them fighting back here with your fletch because you want that straight flight. So if you have this here, so now again, in my opinion, you're going to have the front fighting with the back to make that straight flight, okay. So let's take a. Uh, all right, so let's put one on. Okay, make sure I got everything lined up here. I'm gonna put on my, put this on. Now look at it again. Here's your, what's going to be in your groove. And you look at your tip. You can see the angle. So in order to <coughs> um, get that to do the straight flight, now you gotta loosen it up. Okay, you hear a lot of people talking about premature opening of their of their um, broadheads. Now again, this to me again, this is only my opinion. If you have that loose up here, okay, are you gonna get a premature opening? And my guess, absolutely. Okay, uh, this is gonna open it because. Again, depending on how much you have to turn that to open. Okay, so we're going to turn this here. Okay. All right. So, 
I'm you. Okay, this one's not going to do it, but my, but again, my stuff isn't lined up. There we go. Okay, so we got it tight. Okay, so let's loosen this up like it's supposed to be. We can get the flatness. Okay, so with the, especially with your um, your bows that are doing, you know, three, four hundred feet per second. When they're shooting out. Could that cause this to be a premature open? Now, I'm, I don't have any feet per second here, so I I don't, I don't see, there we go. Okay, I just barely, barely got that. So, could that be a big a big issue when you're shooting your, um, your arrow, that premature opening? Because you don't hear anybody talking about this being loose up front for your arrow. You, when you look at them all, they're flat. Nobody says that they're loosened up up here. Nobody. Okay? In all my research. Okay? <coughs> so, um, to me, that could be a problem. Okay. So, let's go to the thorn broadhead. Now, one thing I'm going to do in comparison to here is I have two different types of field tips. You can see right there. There's one. And there's two. Those are the two most common types of field tips uh, that, I, that I have found. So, does this, this is the uh, practice tip, look anything like a broadhead? Uh, in my opinion, let me get these here. My opinion is no, they don't look like it. I mean, even when you look at, you know, they say they shoot like a broadhead or field tip, okay? Again, let me get these here. Okay, Oop, I just lost my collar, but that's okay. So, does that look like a field tip? Okay. No, not to me. But anyways, that's just, my, again, one person's opinion. Okay? So, now, I have two different types of thorn broadheads here. Okay? So, I got the rift. This is the HPX here, right here. And this is the rift, right here. This is a 2.2 inch cut. And this is a uh, 1.34, I think it's 34, uh, inch cut here. And these are both 100 grain tips, field tips, or uh, broadheads. So, even though these are longer, like, do they kind of look like a field tip? In my opinion, yeah, they kind of look like a tip. But here's the key thing with the thorns, okay, is that they come with this practice ring. So you practice with, let me see if you get that yeah. practice with what you shoot, okay? Um, these here <coughs> only weigh about a grain. <coughs> oh, I hate this cold. But anyways, these little collars just go right on to the the field tip here. And you, what you practice with, you shoot with. So, uh, the weights on these, again, all the weights, I mean, anytime you look at anything with weights, you still get a variance. Doesn't make any difference what you're using. Okay? So let's put this one on, and it's 99, okay? I can probably adjust that to make my other ones fit just by the weight of the arrow, okay? So I got a 340 grain arrow, and I want everything to be, let's see, 340, 440 grains. I can probably adjust with the, the, the grain of the arrows, okay, with these here. All right, and here we'll just do a rift, okay? Uh, 103 okay so again weights are going to be different here's another rift let's see what it does okay 101 and I got another one here oh where did that one let's do this one here okay so I'll say 99 so I, I can adjust probably with the uh, uh, broadhead with the weights of the, uh, the actual arrows so, let's put this one on the arrow. 
job. Okay, so what's my tip look like? Rough. It's flat. It's straight. It looks like a looks like a, a could be a broadhead. Okay, I have no oh, wings. I have nothing sticking out on on these here. So when this tip hits the, the target, the animal, okay, we'll put me bring this in here. So you see this little hole right here. There's a little rubber piece in there. So when that hits, okay, these these uh, the wings. We'll call them the wings, but the uh, the, the the cutting will pop right out. Okay, um, so. Again, these you get these tit these these inserts pretty cheap, okay? So um, that's why I prefer the thorn broadheads. And I've done you know I haven't done any uh, I've only done the uh, <coughs> um, speed test with these, but sighting in I haven't done yet, and that will be lay again later on when I get very closer to season that I'll start sighting these in. So, um, that, you know, again, this is my preferences and what I like. Okay? So, with that said, let's come back with some final thoughts. Okay, so my final thoughts for today. Um, comparison. Again, like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. This is just one person's opinion. There's a lot of sites out there that talk about the different types of broadheads. There's a lot of type of broadheads out there. There's a ton of broadheads. Okay? Um, but uh, just again, you know, the money you spend on broadheads, you would think, you would think that if you're going to have a broadhead and a practice broadhead, okay, They'd be the same weight, or within one or two grains, for the money you're spending. Okay, I'm not a person that type to waste um, money, and I did, in my opinion again, on these rage broadheads. I don't want to waste these. I want to be able to go out, <coughs> side them in, with the practice tip, and do it. Okay. These ones here, again, I don't know if these are legal here in Utah or not. Um, I, I don't remember the uh, brand of these. Uh, but the one thing I don't like about them is they're, they say they're supposed to be sharp. They're, to me, running my fingers over them and stuff, they're not that sharp. Uh, but these ones here, I could use them for practice on whatever, uh, maybe. Uh, but their weights, you know, like within two grains, so I'm not too... Uh, worried about that, but yeah, I got these on sale. Walmart was clearing out their stuff, uh, some of their stuff. And for some reason, they got rid of a lot of the crossbow stuff. I don't know why. Um, the other day I was in Walmart, and there's still nothing. Uh, not even uh, compound bows. But, so I don't know. Uh, but my local uh, uh, sportsman's warehouse has crossbow stuff <coughs> so um, that's why my decision at my research I went to these storm broadheads these are the ones that I shoot these are the ones I will shoot on consistently and as I find something different the only thing I don't like about them though but they're, they're so long okay they're what two inches longer maybe um, but the weight it will, is what will compensate for that. They're still, you know, 9,900 grain tips. So, uh, again, when I go to shoot, I can put on the practice collar, wherever that went to, I think. One of my engineers borrowed it. Uh, yeah, I think one of my engineers borrowed the practice the collar that goes on this. So, I, again, I, I can practice with these, and I can go out and shoot at the same time. So, I hope you got something out of this video. Um, it'll, I want to say not a lot of information, but quite a bit of information on the, the broadheads. Um, but it's going to get, it's going to be your preference on what you use. You hear a lot of people talking about the Rage Hyperdermics and so on and so forth and how they like them and so forth. Um, but 
I don't know what they're doing with them to make sure they're tight against the uh, the seats. What I call the seat, the weight of these arrows the front. To me, to make the true flight, they got to be loose. Take it what it is. So, again, if you like these videos, hit that subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up and ring that bell so you know when I got a new one coming out. Uh, so, with that said, take care of your family. Family comes first. Have a great day and get out there and hunt.